What's going on guys, Derek here again from DerekBennett.com. If you haven't yet submitted your email address on the site, it should be here or in the link. Go ahead and take some time and do that now and start your free trial. You'll get notified of every single new lesson that comes out every week. We have a weekly throwdown groove video each week. We have a new form inside the membership area. It's just crazy, go check it out. If you're returning, you know what we do here. Grab your base, let's get started. All right, guys, coming to you with a quick lesson on minor six and minor thirds. All right, I did a lesson before, maybe a, about a month ago, about major thirds and major six. Um, that got some pretty nice reviews on it, so I, I figured why not go ahead and do the minor six and the minor thirds. Uh, for some reason, I like how they go together, um, the minor thirds and how the minor six sound together. Um, so you can't leave out minor. We did major, so let's go ahead and, and uh, tackle minor. Okay, so first of all, first and foremost, the, the thing that you need to know about this is your minor scale. <clears throat> if you don't know your minor scale, I'll review it very quick, um, but it, it is uh, beneficial that you know that minor scale before you try this exercise or um, watch any of the rest of this video. So, here's the C minor scale. That's the C minor scale. I'll call out the notes just to make sure you we're on the same page. Okay, so C, D, D sharp, F, G, G sharp, A sharp, C. All right. And for the minor six exercise, we're going to be extending that scale. We're going to be moving that scale to another position. Um, we're going to start that on the eighth fret on the E string. So it's a good thing to know that scale, the extended version of that scale too, or just a shorter version of a double octave scale. All right, so I'll show you what I mean. So up here on the eighth fret on the C, we have the minor scale. Now, if we were to keep going and, and just extend that scale, the next note would be D. All right, we ended on the C, the next note will be D. All right, so all together I'll play it. with your pinky all right next string down we have the D sharp we have an F and a G all right we're just gonna be working with that for today we can extend it even more but we're just gonna be working with that fingering so we can have that four finger placement so we're not stretching too far outside of this all right just make it easier for you so let's go back to the original C minor scale Okay, so the C minor scale in thirds, what we're doing is just we're, we're playing, we're skipping every other note and going back to the note that we, that we missed. All right, if that makes any sense. All right, so I'll show you very slow. So the first note is C, the second note is D, the third note is D sharp. So if we're playing this in thirds, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play the th first note, C, then we're gonna play the third note. We're gonna completely skip that second note and play the third note. All right, so our first two notes, C, D sharp. Now we go back to that note that we skipped. All right, we can't leave any, we can't leave any notes out, all right? So we have C, D sharp, now D. Now we're gonna play a minor third from that, which is gonna be our F. All right, so we're doing every single note like this. So just think of them as pairs. So the C is paired up with the D sharp. That's our minor third. The next note, the D, that's paired up with our F. That's a minor third away from that. All right, that interval is a minor third. Every interval that we're playing is a minor third. That's why it's called the minor a third exercise. So if we were to keep going, the same exact process with this. So we're skipping a string. D, F. Go back to that third note. All right, now we have to find an interval for the minor third for that third note, for the D sharp. And it just happens to be, all right? So, all together, C, D sharp, D, F, D sharp, G. Fourth note, the F. Skip that note, we have to go to the G sharp. 
All right. So every it just kind of repeats itself. It's the same exact thing over and over again. It's just a very repetitive exercise. But once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to fly through it once you know the minor scale because that's all we're working with. We're working with the notes of the minor scale. We're not going outside of that. Same fingering. Uh, if you 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 want to try to use the same fingering that you would use for the for the regular scale. So that's why my hand isn't moving. So if we were to keep going, let's just keep going. So we got C, D sharp, D, F, and you can pause this and slow this down if you want to. D sharp, G, F, G sharp, can't miss the G, G, A sharp. All right, we gotta go back to that note, G, C. That's the end of it. That's where we're going to end it. Okay. To get full access to the rest of this lesson, you want to head over to DerekBennett.com if you're not already there to start your free trial today. All right. You won't regret it. We got new advanced lessons coming up every single week for our members. We even have an interactive forum where you can ask anything you want. I'll be able to answer any questions you have and, and just interact with all types of bass players around the world. All right. So go start your free trial. Until next time.